All right, keeping with the theme. Hello everyone, I'm coming back again. Of course, in my last video I made on Google's new policy, it took away from me actually wanting to make this one, which was gonna be on what I am thankful for. I like to make some thankful videos just to get my heart out there and echoing back and forth between me and you guys, the viewers, the audience, I love you. So look, I don't have that many subscribers, which is surprising I would even have any. I have 12 that are fully organic, ingrained. I did not pay for any of these. It's very nice to see that I have a little audience and I would prefer to small, start small as I'm growing this thing out. And this is just me on the boondocks. I mean, you hang out with me in crazy times, right? So if you enjoy hearing the combo, great. If you want to kick back and relax and share some stuff and you want me to talk on subjects, that's what I'm here for. You give me a topic, I'm probably going to have an opinion or an idea about it. I usually just most of the time just sit back and watch. I've recently found out that I'm more introvert. I'm like a huge introvert. I thought I was an extrovert person. I mean, obviously, I don't mind communicating. That's just not a problem to be comfortable in front of even, I guess, a camera or talking to other people. That's not an issue with me usually. But what I found out is like, I'm a super introvert. Like, yeah, I don't like going out in public. If I, I keep my blinds closed most of the time, I like being in my little box. I, I don't know what it is. Now, there's four types according to Dr. Romini. And I think I'm more of the thinking type introvert, which they say is the healthiest type of introvert. But I don't really get into that. I ain't trying to be the top introvert. I don't care about any of that. But I do sit a lot of times and just think. And I would love going, I, like when I'm going on walks by myself, it is the best time for me to just absorb and, and take in the environment around me. I like this quietness that it provides. So yeah, I'm about that life, even when I don't even seem that way in my videos. So this is very interesting to see the dynamic of a person like me, which is probably why I'm blah, 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 because introverts will blah, blah, blah you. If you find their little sweet spot, they go, ah, 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 that, that's me. That's probably why I don't say much because I'm like, they don't want to hear all this. <laughs> and anyways, wanted to come on here and just share my thank yous for what's going on in my life. And I hope that it inspires you to make videos of your own and make thank yous for what you're happy for. And if I can get better and better at this each and every day, well then, I've made some progress and I've moved the needle a little bit further in the, I feel like, the right direction. So without further ado, say, I'm happy to even have a camera that I can record to make a video. I'm happy that I even have the time, and thank you for having the time, to be able to make videos. I'm glad I have software that I use, computer, if, uh, this computer equipment, the microphones that I use. Uh, everything that I have to be even able to communicate my voice. I'm thankful to have that as, as an option to be able to do this because otherwise I'd just be kind of grinding it out. And I've been afforded so much opportunity. I'm thankful for people that can see and recognize in me that people usually say, man, you got it made. They've said things like this to me before. And whether or not I've reciprocated it well, I usually will question it, ridicule it in my mind, and say, yeah, but there's so much others. Like, I need to stop and just say right now, thank, I need to thank the universe, thank the creator source, that I even have all of this stuff. That other people can see, wow, he's got a great life. They would actually like to have. They would actually take advantage of and use when I've been wasting it. And so I want to say thank you for that. And now hopefully I'm able to utilize it better. So I want to be thankful for my daughter. And somebody else might say, why don't you thank God? Look, thank you, creator. Thank you, God. Thank you for this beautiful life. And hopefully I don't waste it. Creator, in my view, is always number one. Now people will extrapolate that over to a lot of different things. They may say God. They may say Jesus. They may go a lot of different ways. But for me, I'd like to take some pieces from the Bible. One of those is thou shalt not idol worship. I like that thou shalt, thou shalt not idol worship. That's a huge thing for me. I try not to. I'm guilty of it. I even worship it a little bit with this brand company right here, Buck and Camel Company. 
when we get into like even our aesthetics, we're worshiping some idol stuff. We try to look as a certain way and we give it attention. We try to, you know, bring it forward. That's a little bit of worship. That's some idol worship. But what I find that people do, and this is going to rub a lot of people the wrong way, I'm sure, is when they get into their Jesus positions and they're like, oh yeah, that's the way of Jesus. Hell yeah, you know, you got to put Jesus first and, and I got my cross and you're crossing the line of idol worship. And Jesus didn't want you to worship necessarily him. It is not after that. You think about what the, the teachings and practices were that you would would pull from Jesus. Jesus is a guide. He's just he's a guru like the rest of them, like Buddha or any of the others. They wanted you to follow their philosophies. If you want to embrace or do anything that would support that, honestly, if you want to support and be a better idol worshiper, you just take on behaving and acting in the ways that were professed for you to behave in. Take on some of those principles. And you'll quickly find that putting a person on a pedestal and then celebrating and relishing in that is going to be a, probably a bad thing because you've now created an idol and nothing else can enter. Nothing else can be allowed. When a lot of times those idols that you're worshiping told you to entertain that information. They probably have somewhere in their preaching to absorb some of this information or at least look at it, observe it. Doesn't mean you have to adopt it, but you can at least observe it and see how it fits in your own life. Don't be resistant. But if you create idol worshiping, you have automatically created some resistance towards anything else. You may be adverse to a lot of things that could be beneficial in your life. But you have to give yourself an opportunity to say yes or no to it. Not a, not a figure that you've created. And you have no godly idea or earthly idea what that individual, who they were, shook their hand. You just took it off of somebody writing about them. And then what evidence can they produce to say or to corroborate this? Like that is a big stretch on your imagination and yes if you believe it it is true i hate to say it but like it's out that's how it works so whether or not the individual really is they did exist if you believe they did so you're really stretching your imagination and then when things don't quite dice up or go along with that anyways i'm getting out there i, I went on a jesus tangent that's a separate video too so again, thank you for that. Thank you, Creator. I put my stuff on Source and Creator. It's another doctrine I've uh, prescribed to because I like a lot of the stuff that's in a waspy, and they even have the story of Jesus in it as you as uh, Yeshua. But I think I've spoken on that on different videos in the past, but I don't remember. I don't know what I put on this channel. Anyways, thank you for my daughter. Very happy to have her in my life. Uh, she's been with me more than I've ever had her in my entire life at the current moment. And eventually, maybe she'll return back to mother if she comes back whenever. But I've had her for almost a month. And it's been it's been good. I, mean, I, I didn't think I would be able to adjust or be able to handle it. But I've been able to take care of it. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to be able to work and start building businesses. I, I want to say that I'm very grateful for that. That now I've got partnerships, I've got people in place that help keep me motivated in building these stores and building things out that I will have a successful outcome as long as I put in the effort and work. And the hopes and dreams is that it's not always just about me, but I am putting myself forward here because I, I want to be able to be that, that positional guy that I can do more for others if I've been able to do more for myself. In opposed to me limiting what I'm able to do for me and limiting what I'm able to do for other people. Now, that doesn't take away from anything that I can do this day. So the challenge is to keep figuring out ways to be grateful and to also be giving at the same time. And it could be anything. It could be a handshake. It could be a smile. All these things add up. Giving my time over to just be of service and volunteering. I don't need to have an, uh, a huge mansion to give away 
a house. But I could do that if I did have the resources. So I'm aware of these thoughts, I'm aware of this stuff, and that's what I'm aiming for and I want to get better at. I want to be I want to thank the opportunity that I've been afforded to be able to have my kid in child watch and at the same time be able for me to build stuff and change things around in my house to make me a better person, a better parent. So there's some thank thanking thankful moments that I have. Most of my family has been gone. I don't really my my family's passed away. I mean they they got chopped boom boom boom. So I lost my father, I lost my mother here. Uh, I've lost my grandparents. I don't really have anyone. I have extended family, but it's always an effort by me to connect with them and then they're all loving. Uh, they do check in on me from time to time, but it's okay. I want to thank I want to thank them for doing that. I think they probably realized that I was an introvert more than I did, but I don't know. I just know that I just prefer to be very away from most people and to myself. I think I've gone through a lot of it in, in my lifetime to create that kind of experience. So trying to take advantage of what I have. Um, very thankful for that. Thankful for my kid. Um, and I don't want to just totally throw all of my thank yous out. I may mention them in the same thing again maybe tomorrow or in this, e this evening. But I'm going to at least mention the ones that I mentioned and then going forward throw some more thank yous out there for other things that I pick up in the day if I observe them very thankful for my lady I have such an amazing girlfriend I don't even really like to call her a girlfriend um, she's the love of my life best love that I've ever had beyond my daughter she's soul strengthening very encouraging supportive we barely see each other we would love to see more of each other when we do see each other it the whole world fades away we we really do have a wonderful bond and and, and i say that a lot of times uh something happens and it goes opposite but if it happens happens i would love to say i'm thankful for her in my life because we just, I mean, like last night she talked to me about how she went and did some volunteer work for a homeless woman. And I thought that was the most beautiful thing ever. It warmed my heart. I said, my heart weeps. And she just went off talking to me. She's an introvert too. She's a super introvert. She's known her, the, her side of it though. And I was like trying to figure out why we were having issues in our relationship. It's because we're both introverts. Like neither one of us talked to one another and then we go through these periods and we're, it's sad, but we were working on it. We realize what we're dealing with now and it's funny. We, we laugh about it. It makes us stronger in our relationship and that's all you can ask for. I've been in the previous one that I was in. I just wasn't a compatible one. I knew that. I, I just, I'm not compatible with that type of energy. It just irritates the crap out of me, but and it lingers, unfortunately, because that's my baby's mama. But I was with her for nine years, and I could have woke up much sooner, but it's okay. We all have mistakes. Some people go a lifetime. Uh, wake up wherever you're at, and thank what you have. Thank the moment that you even woke up to knowing that you're in a bad situation. So that's all I want to have here. Thank you moments. Go out and make it a peaceful, blessed day. Thank the people around you. Thank the opportunities that come into your life, even if they're negative ones. They may seem like they're negative at the moment, but they turn out to be prosperous in the end. It's just a mindset shift. But I love you guys. Thank you for all my 12 subscribers. Might become 11 after this one, but maybe we can grow it to go to 13 and beyond. Love you guys. Thank you. Hit like and subscribe if you don't mind. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.